Hey everybody, welcome to the third video in our Get Monitoring series. If you landed on this video, you need to get back to the beginning of the playlist. Go ahead and check that out. Uh, from here, we're going to jump right back into the interface and we're going to complete step four. All right, we're going to pick up right from where we were. So we were at step three, we're going to click next, and now we're into step four. Step four is about notification settings. So what are we going to do when Nagios detects a problem? So we could not send any notifications. That may or may not be a good idea. We can send a notification immediately. This is the default setting and uh, it's checked out of the box. We could also wait a configurable number of minutes before sending a notification, whether that's five minutes or 10 minutes, whatever you wanted to configure there. What do we do if problems persist? So if a problem isn't handled, if it continues to come up, how often should we send a notification? We have that, the default is 60 minutes. And then who do we send the notification to? All right, so we can send the notification to, uh, to me. We could send it to others. I say, I say we send everything to Eric. He's a good guy, he'll probably figure it out. We can also configure contact groups. So we could check that we're gonna contact everybody that's a contact in the Nagios XI database. Um, we could do, the Nagios administrators, you could do the web department, you could configure a group that was like ESXi. So say you're running ESXi as a hypervisor and you're monitoring the machines on there um, and something goes wrong with one of those, you could configure it to notify them on that. How do you get there though? So let's take a quick look. So to finish step four, once you've checked those things, you would just hit next. Let's take a look at how you find these things and how you set those up so that you can add people and groups to contact. Here's how we'll do it. Okay, we're gonna go to the core config manager. It's right here in the sidebar, the core config manager. We're gonna click that. There's a lot of information here. Here's what we wanna look at. We're on alerting and we're talking about contacts and contact groups. So these are pre-configured contact groups that we have in our demo machine, but you can add a new group. So in step four, when you were looking at individuals that could be contacted or groups that could be contacted, when there's a, an alert, this is how you set it up. You come to the core config manager, you look at alerting and then contacts and contact groups. Once you've done those things, then you can select those and hit next, and that'll bring you to step five, which is the last step in this process, and that will be covered in the next video. Thanks for being here.